Welcome back everyone to Roofing Insights. I'm your host Dmitry Lipinski. Today I'm gonna answer a very common question that I do get a lot. Dmitry, how do you start a business with no money? Do you need money to start a roofing business? The short answer is no, you don't have to have a lot of money. And in this video, I'm gonna explain how to get there. Thank you guys so much for coming. The short answer is yes, you can start a business with no money, a roofing business. As a matter of fact, I'm living proof of it. I, in 2013, I started today a multi-million dollar operation with absolute no money. Not only I didn't know much about roofing, but I also didn't have any capital and yet I did it. When I started my roofing business, I have four kids. My fourth one was just one month old and I wanted to be a GC license right away, never been a general contractor before. So my first tip for you is this, get a side gig to get by, not a job. I always say, if you have a full-time job, you're not an entrepreneur. You, if you have a plan B, plan A is not gonna happen. A lot of people, they sit way too much in their jobs and they just don't wanna jump. And for me, it's all about the job, but you cannot have a job. You have to have a gig, something that will pay your bills. I was a floor installer before, the easiest money I can make uh, was in flooring business. So I decided to work Friday, Saturday. Pretty much I built my roofing business just like I built my uh, flooring business that I sold before that. When I started my flooring business, I was mowing grass on the Saturdays, right? Just because it was easy. I could make 500 bucks any day, you know, just mowing grass, but I didn't want to be a landscaper for the rest of my life. And it was just a side easy money. So find something that you can make money fast. Maybe you can install roofs. Maybe you can, you know, do something on the computer. I don't know what your background is, but find a gig that will get you by until you actually can support yourself with a roofing business money, right? And by the way, you can start a business with no money, but you cannot grow it. The failure rate is so big because the threshold to enter a business is so small. You just need a couple hundred bucks to get your papers. So it's easy to enter in, but early on, with no money, later you will have to start um, investing money back to grow it. Number two is set up your salary and your salary have to be your minimum wage. In 2013, I only needed $1,000 per week. I paid myself $60,000 in my first year in the roofing business. It was 2013, I did about 900,000 in sales. The rest of it went back in the business. You have to focus on small tickets. I was doing a lot of small stuff. I was doing a lot of gutters. I was uh, doing a lot of repairs. I built my reputation really, really fast that helped me later and still helps me to this day. Small tickets is what big companies don't want. You don't want to be brand new in the market and start competing with the biggest dogs in town. But biggest established companies, they don't care about small jobs. And guess what? To pay yourself a small salary, I don't know how much you need, maybe 500 bucks, maybe 800 bucks, maybe 1500 bucks, but it's not that hard with the small tickets. I mean, $1,000 a week, is only five repair jobs, you know, a $200 a repair. It's not that hard. It's much harder to try to, you know, find full roofing jobs, 10, $15,000 jobs, because you're not gonna be able right away to find five or 10 of those per month, but you can definitely do repairs that nobody wants. Get off as fast as my next tip, number four. This one is hard, and I know a lot of you guys don't, like, you're gonna procrastinate for the longest, and this is how I'm different from a lot of people, because I just jump on things, but I highly, highly recommend you get uh, off as fast. Here's why. In the beginning, you're not gonna be busy. And to build your work ethics and to actually feel like you have a roofing business and scale fast, you have to have office. Why? Because let's say you only have two things to do per day. What you gonna do? Watch TV, you know, watch, uh, play computer games at home. When people are gonna be calling you, your kid's gonna be on the background. I want you to treat your business early on as soon as possible, just like you would be working for somebody else. You would be living in the morning, going to the business, and I've seen it so many times, guys. Contractors start, they do first couple things and they never get out of office. They always wanna work from their garages. And the thing about it is there's something changes when you're here and it changes fast. As a matter of fact, this office right here, I've been, this is my sixth year, I just renewed. So I signed a contract in 2013 after I've been in business only for a couple of months. And to this day I'm here, it's a 4,000 square feet warehouse. I've been paying 1,500 bucks per month. I didn't have it back then. It was pretty much all I have, but right away people are gonna start taking you seriously. Your vendors, your uh, suppliers. Uh, who do you think your subs wanna work for? A uh, guy who's working from the garage or a guy who has a warehouse? 
you're going to have leftover materials. You, you can actually start saving, buying in bulk and doing other stuff and you can be more organized. I know it's going to cost you money and I know a lot of people don't agree with me, but for me, it's absolutely crucial. Number five is stay away from subcontracting. If you've been subcontracting and trying to build your own roofing business now, highly recommend you cancel it. As a matter of fact, I was supposed to have a partner in this business and I'm glad it didn't work out. The guy is still subcontracting. He's my best friend, uh, love him to death, but he still cannot break from subcontracting because once you start doing it, it's really hard to get out. You can't really market yourself and your margins are so small and uh, the principles and everything is so much different. So you, in order to be successful in roofing, as a business owner of a roofing company, you have to find your own clients. I've subcontracted probably five, six jobs and all of them made sense because they're bigger, uh, bigger items. We've done apartments, we've done, you know, like usually my bigger item tickets. But if, when people call me early on, even when I didn't have a job, say, do you should do subcontract? No, I don't. Next one, guys, is a start putting 5% in marketing. This is crucial. If you don't do this and you can maybe question my 5%, this is what I've been teaching uh, for years and it worked for me well in the first year in business I did over 900,000 and I spent about $40,000 in marketing if you don't put money back in the marketing you can pretty much fail for me it's 5% if I want to do 10 million dollars I'll spend half a million in marketing but guess what my profit margins is about 10% so I spend half a million I'm gonna make half a million this is my formula but you have to start putting money back I see a lot of business owners who start and by the way it's like 90% of contractors fail within the first two years and average roofing business is in business only for a year and a half so why is it happening because you don't put any money back to you know people always say well uh, we rely on word of mouth guys your word of mouth today online and on, to be online you have to spend online you have to have a website you have to do quite a few things and if you don't you're gonna go down. I started with the zero money, but at the end of the year, I actually put back $40,000 while paying myself 60. What a lot of guys do, I could pay myself 100,000 in the first year, and then second year probably be statistic, not even have a business. This is how you grow your business uh, when you started with no money. And my last tip for you, I know you're probably tired of me hearing this, but wrap your vehicle fast. Here's why you have to wrap your vehicle fast. Not only it's one of the cheapest advertising you can get, it's pretty much billboard for next five years in business. I mean, my first vehicle lasted me about three years, but you know, you're gonna wrap it with a 5% from here. So you start taking money, you know, let's say you do first $100,000, that's $5,000 back to your company, your vehicle wrap costs you two, $3,000. But this is your mental shift. That vehicle wrap, it takes a lot of time to unwrap. Right. Once you put it on, this is a statement in your brain between your ears that you're actually here to stay. You're not going to close your business later because everybody can be laughing at you. Right. And also statements to everybody around you that you're serious about what you do. I remember wrapping my vehicle actually before I even it was the first two thousand dollars I ever spent and you are driving on the highway. I remember I didn't even know what ABC supply was. And uh, I remember getting a call from ABC Supply Rap and he said, Dimitri, I've seen your vehicle on the highway and look you in our system and you actually don't have an account with us. Can we sit down? So he came in, sit down. Guess what? I spent about half a million dollars with ABC that year. I don't recommend you get like fancy truck. I mean, my first car was like $12,000 Volkswagen Jetta. And I loved that car. It was a <laughs> diesel. I was probably the only roofer I knew uh, five years ago who didn't own the truck. I was okay with that. I was saving money. Like my three trips to the job site was like one trips for some of my competitors, right? So I built my business on the back of the Jetta and I was totally fine with it. It wasn't easy, guys. None of this stuff is easy, but it's doable. You have to set up uh, yourself for success. In my next video, I'm going to show you six uh, areas in your business that you have to pay close attention uh, to, like stuff like sales, accounting and stuff like that, and uh, how to grow your business. That's going to be our next video after this. 
uh, please watch that if you actually just started a business and if you guys started a business and you need help this is what we do at our roofing marketing class that's the best thing roofing insights puts out there every month we invite people to our business uh, check it out next class gonna take in September September 12 13 I'm gonna put all the information below and links below register if you need help I literally invite people to this office so when you come to our class we show you everything we do we open our books we share all the information with you and you're gonna be very happy if you come if you need help uh, maybe it's the best investment best first money to spend on your business Hope to see you in the class. If you're struggling, uh, newest or brand new business owner out there, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys so much for hearing my story. I would like to hear yours. How did you start in the roofing business? What did you do before? Please comment below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so so you don't miss another video.